Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a brand new series that I will be starting. It is Jack and Daxter. If you guys haven't played this game before, it is absolutely incredible. I first played this when it was on PS2. Um, they remastered it, blah, 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 remastered it for PlayStation 3, which I also beat that on the PlayStation 3. And then they also remastered it for PlayStation 4, which you guys will see that I have actually completely 100% beaten this game. I like I platinum it completely beat this game I got the secret ending and everything from oh man I think I beat it like oh man it's coming up on like a year or two I think now and uh, I absolutely love this game like I said I have played it on every console essentially that PlayStation has come out with that this has been on it's a great game I love the series it's up there with God of War and Kingdom Hearts for one of my favorite series in general I'm hoping what I will do is I'm gonna get this one done, the Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, then I'll try and get Jack 2 done, and then Jack 3, and depending on how much I feel like doing, uh, possibly Jack X, it's the racing game, it's not really part of the series or story in general, but it is like the off brand, it's the racing one and whatnot. So I'm hoping to get all of these done, I'm hoping I don't get bored of this like the Assassin's Creed game that I had, uh, or uh, what's it called? Uh, playthrough that I had going on for Assassin's Creed, but hopefully I will get this one done Jack 2 and Jack 3 and whatnot Now I do have some other news. I ended up ordering a new mic. So hopefully Like you guys may be coming to my channel and whatnot you might notice like kind of an echoey voice and stuff like that The clarity of this voice will be much better. I should say audio voice, whatever. It's the same thing the, the just the clarity in general and the goodness I guess for lack of better words of the audio for my playthroughs from now on I guess uh, will be getting much better I have ordered it it is on the way here once it gets here I'll let you guys know and kind of go over what I got but uh, let's uh let's hop into this game real quick if I'm pressing start okay there we go so let's see here so as you can see right here I completely beat the game like I got all the precursor thing wait let's see here when was it December 13th of 2017. Today, I believe, is May 28th, I want to say? Of 2019. So it's been a year and a half uh, since I played this game last. But as you can see, got 101 precursor or orbs. Um, those are precursor orbs, right? Or what are those things called? I forgot what those things are called. The fly things? I, I finished it. Like, I beat it completely. So let's go ahead and start this new game and see where it goes. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco. One of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? 
This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right, and then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. <laughs> Get in there, before I turn you both into ferns! Yay! Looks like we can start this playing the game. device is a communicator. With it, my father and I oh. can give you advice at any time during your quest. Okay, hold on. We have to... Oh, no, that's not the start button, is it? Um... I have to... Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Oh no. Do I really have to play the game like this? <laughs> Alright, let's turn that off because I don't like vibration on it. Um... Okay, that's fine. Okay, so to move the screen is inverted. So if you ever see me like have to turn left and I suddenly start going like like that, just know it's inver inverted and I don't oh god, I don't know what's happening. I don't like inverted. Oh no. 
I'm not gonna get used to this at all. Oh god. How did I do this in the first place? Okay. So these little things are called precursor or or the little orbs. These floating egg shaped oh. things are She'll precursor tell you. orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. I just remember, like when this game first came out, and they showed the like I forgot what her name is already. I was like, well, you can put this on like like games? <laughs> like I remember like all of us were like, uh what? We should be able to get out of here. Is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. Now I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to 100% this like platinum it like I, I did in the first one. Oh my god, I hate this. You just hear like a little horn? There we go. Oh god. Oh, that's gonna be so annoying. That will take me a while, guys. I do apologize. It's gonna take me a little bit to get adjusted to this game again. Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell! I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. Probably. That's blue eco which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. I wish there was a way to skip this part. Oh my god. <laughs> Each blue eco cluster you pick up increases oh God, this the is time so you hate in blue. Pretty sure there's someone over here, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm so not used to this right now. I'm so sorry, guys. Pretty sure there's like something down here, isn't it? Yes, that fell. Don't go ahead and go over here real quick. <coughs> Go ahead and go over here and get some first orbs. I thought there was a. I thought there was a thingy. What do they call it? Power cell. I know you can check to see how much there is. How. Square. Okay. Um, X. So there's 23 more. There's two more uh, power cells, and I've gotten all the flags. Okay. This is so annoying. I am not used to this yet, guys. I am so I highly doubt I will ever get used to it. Just because of the mechanics, oh my god. I haven't played games like this in so long. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh god. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, the run jump. I forgot about this. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling Blue Eco through your body. Blue Eco through your body. God, it's been so long since I've played this game. That's a Blue Eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. God, I always hate tutorials. If you can't get out of them, like, it's always nice the first, like, time you play it. But after that, like, if you go back and replay a game, it's so annoying. Bow. I always, I always love the music of this Good game. Work. The Blue Eco caused the door to Come open. With Blue Come Eco, on. you can Come raise on. energy into oh all kinds of precursor <laughs> artifacts <laughs> that have been dormant for oh, years. Man. Okay, well... Oh. Many struggles with me. Alright. There we go. There's a few little things that I remember. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. 
Nope. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. <laughs> to increase your health. For those, I think I need what seven more, please. That looks like all seven you can right jump here. Jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Let's go. This looks like the last precur or the last parcel. Looks like we beat the tutorial, guys. Yay! That's it. That's, that's the entire game. Yay! No, but this game actually is easy until literally the last boss. Unlike, like, Jack 2 was actually very difficult. That's the only Jack game that I haven't actually beaten yet. Like, I've never actually beaten Jack 2. I've beaten Jack, obviously. I've uh, beaten Jack 3, and I've beaten Jack X, but I've never beaten Jack 2. That is my one and only one I have yet to beat. Training boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And ah, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! I've always loved him, Green Sage. Okay, how do, how, how do I... There we go. Yeah, it was funny growing up, I kind of always had a crush on like, that girl. Is there anything over here? No? Okay, cool. Go, 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 go. The other game I was low-key kind of thinking about doing a playthrough of is, oh my god, um, I will not get used to this. Uh, what's it called? Final Fantasy X. <clears throat> yeah, this girl. I don't know what her name is. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Like, do they need... Is it necessary to make her look like that? Like, come on. It's a kid's game. <laughs> I believe... Is, is this game rated E for everyone? I think it is. I believe... I believe so. Alright, let's go down here. Let's go talk to the rest of the villagers. See how we can get more of those power cells. Those power cells do basically give you a lot of crap in this game, so. Hey, Fishmans. It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. Red boxes. This guy's weird. Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boy. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is, a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. 
very modest 90. How do I get out of this? Okay. Yo, dog, why are you keeping these from us, huh? Why are you keeping these, huh? Dude's weird, though. Um, which way? Oh, my God, I hate this camera. Okay, so we went in there. So let's go in here. We'll talk to this dude. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little, annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Imagine this game with, like, good graphics. <laughs> but, uh, how many? Oh, we only have 50. JK. We can't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Alright, um... Okay, so I think there's one floating out here. Yep. Because I know there's, like, some stupid secret spots and crap like that all over the place. I just don't remember exactly where they are. Oh, let's go talk to Sculptor Boy. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? Indeed we are. Alright. So I believe I've talked to every single one. I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the... Ah, uh, I forgot what this is called. Um, whatever side this one is. I'm gonna go get the crap turned on for the stage first. And then... Uh, we'll just keep going from there, I guess. If you've never played this game, let me know in the comment section down below, because like, it's one of those, like, this was literally like, one of my childhood games, like, I don't know, I played this, like, a lot growing up. This and, uh, it was like this, uh, Kingdom Hearts, and what else I played? Um, what other games I played? I played a lot of uh, NBA 2K, MLB shows, or MLB The Show, I played that a lot. Is this the stupid one where the Pelper, like, Pelper? Isn't that a Pokemon? The, what's it called? Oh crap, what, what are those things called? Oh. Crap, what are those things called? Pelicans, there we go. Oh, you're like, Pokemon brain or some crap. Um, what do you think you're holding? Oh, no. So I do believe that's the power cell that, like, the thing <laughs> scoops up, and then he, like, takes it, it's weird, and then you have to, like, beat him to the nest or something, like, yep, get it out of him, I don't remember what it was. One of the nice things about playing this game is the fact that there is quite a bit of, uh, downtime, I guess, where, or, like, times where it's not a cutscene or nobody's talking, so I can kind of talk a little bit more than I've been able to in the other games that I've been playing. Um, kind of get to talk to you guys a little bit more and whatnot. So what are you guys uh, currently playing right now? Because I know obviously I've got this, and I just recently actually started getting into, uh, or I shouldn't say getting into, but like started getting more into, uh, uh, it's called lead play of uh, Call of Duty. I don't know why I just have for some reason. Uh, 
We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. Not Good cracks. job. Now there meet go. me down here by the egg. Hooray, power cell. Talk to her. Oh my. I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, oh, no. No, 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 no. Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Sure do. Sorry guys, I had to check my phone for something. All right. That was a terrible dog noise. Oh my god. What am I even trying to do here? Yeah, I started getting into um um. Getting more into Call of Duty Black Ops 4 uh, League play a little bit. I uh, started doing actually pretty well. It's one of those I'm for. Oh, God. Um, unfortunately, it's one of those like I've gotten to the point where like we're playing like really good kids, and uh, most of them have already partied up and crap, and uh, I'm just playing like solo, so kind of sucks because I'm just kind of like there getting like I'm I'm holding the team up and then my team just lets me down. <laughs> it's like, no. But uh, there's been some games where like I, I get into a game and I'll have like one or two people that are partied up and they actually know what's happening. It's extremely nice. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and knock these things. Knock the rocks off of them, get them kind of floating and whatnot. I believe this is gonna shoot out our power. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and get ourselves another power cell. So typically, I tend to make these videos like 30 to 40 well, minutes. I see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very nice dude, is it? I thought I had to hit this. Do I not have to hit this? Is it this one that I have to hit? Maybe this one. No? I remember one of these I had to hit. Oh no, I had to hit it up. Okay. I was like, I remember one of these I have to hit. For some reason. Clearly, I don't remember why. Uh. Yeah. So let's see here. How do I hit it up? <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go. That's how you do it. There we go. That should do it for the last one. Already got the other one. Well, I guess I can hit this one up as well. There we go. So now both of them are... God, I do not know how to do this camera angle. Um, these guys are a little annoying. So I gotta hit them. Oh, I thought... Yeah, I hit them Never mind. So I, it's funny because like, I used to do GBs, um, like game battles, uh, man, how long ago was it? We did, we started off in World War II, well not started it, but like, we kind of started doing some in World War II and then like, we just weren't doing that great, so we, my team and I kind of like, broke up a little bit, but uh, like, back in like, IW and Black Ops 3, we were killing it, and I kind of, I really want to get back into it, like, I love doing game battles. Like playing for money and crap like that, like it's fun. Especially when you have like a good team that has good Bye. chemistry and whatnot. Let's buzz it for kicks. Let's do it. I think there's something back here, isn't there? 
one of them. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's something back here, if I remember right. Because, like, when I was doing it for, to get the platinum and stuff like that, this was, like, the last one that I had to get stuff for, and I could not find them. I finally had to, like, look up on YouTube, like, where they were. I was finally able to get it, but it was one of those that just, I couldn't tell you where it was. No, not today. Yeah, right. so we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! I think I gotta get that afterward. Oh. Oh. There we go, got the fly. I think we have what, one more fly, please? What is that? Oh, I forgot about the whole diving. Oh. Ah, ooga. Ah, ooga. Dive for those orbs, Jack! Dive! There we go. I forgot I had to die for these. Fun fact, if you go out into the ocean too far, uh, you will get eaten by a shark. So if you've never played this game before, do not go out into the ocean. Okay, this is... My depth perception is not great. Okay. Um, uh, hello? There we go. Sheesh. Is there any more? There are. For some reason, I always forget that you have to die for some reason. There we go. You're kidding me, right? That'd be fucking kidding me. There we go. Alright, now let's go over here and get these. So it's funny, I kind of, I don't know, I like stopped playing Black Ops 4 for a while. Because I just kind of got bored of it. Like, Call of Duty kind of gets the same if you're not playing with other people. Like, it's just a very repetitive game. And the fact that, like, we wanted to really play multiplayer... Is that, are those orbs over there? No, those are fires. Um, nobody really wants to play anymore. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Alright, so he's gonna scoop it up. That pelican just snagged a power cell! Let's go kick some big bird butt! So I gotta go up there, hit him. If I remember right, I have to go on to... Oops, see? Gotta go onto that thing, go up. And then go get it. What did you spit it? Yeah, so it's way over there. Quick! We have to get to the power cell before the pelican scoops it up again! There we go. Which way was it? It was over here. Got it. Let's go. First try. I always have, like, a very hard problem with that one. Oh, dude, I was way ahead of him. Heck out of here. Where's the last... 6 out of 7, that's what I thought. Hmm. Oh gosh, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Okay, I remember I can have them actually destroy... Oh, it looks like they've already destroyed all of them. Never mind. Alright, uh, what do we do now? I think I've gotten everything. Except for, obviously, I gotta go... I gotta go... I think I gotta go to the top of that building. I think there's something there, but I don't remember what. For sure it was like a uh, power cell. I could be wrong. Yeah, guys, I am super excited for this new mic that I'm about to have. Obviously, like, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is just yet. But it is super exciting. I'm extremely stoked for it. Um... 174, so I need, what, six more? I think. Um, no, because the power's not on just yet. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything else done first. Where'd I go? And then I'll come back and get everyone's crap done. Oh, yes, yeah, the yak, dude, I remember him. Was this the weird bird lady over here? Is she in here? 
Let me look like she's in the ground. Like, I have to get all the yaks together. It's weird. Yeah, gotta bring in the crop. Gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get them back into the corral? Absolutely not. All right, so I do know there are some flies in here. Oh, gosh, is this the seventh? Is this the seventh? Hold on. No, okay. So there is still one more over there. I just don't remember where it is. Alright. Let's get these bad boys in there. Trust me, the yaks were harmed in the making of this episode. I promise. There we go. It's so hard to scare Oh no, I've got to sneeze. Woo! Ooh, man, that felt good. That felt good. That felt good. There we go. Get his butt inside there. Oh, hey. Oh my god, there's two. There you go. Go. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Oh yeah. Here we go. Got the uh, second last one. I think this one is the last one over here. Go ahead. Go ahead this one. All right, as we get this last one corralled. There we go. That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go yes, talk to him. Yes, he does. We'll talk to him. Oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Is anyone getting like nostalgic just watching this? I don't know, maybe it's just me. I absolutely loved this game growing up. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the jungle real quick and we're gonna go get this going, but I feel like this would actually be a very good time to stop. However, there is, I believe, something over here. Yes, I'm pretty sure there's some pretty cool stuff. But before we get into the Forbidden Jungle, I'm going to wrap up this episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to me as I continue to grow. It would be a tremendous help. But as always, guys, I will see you next episode.